guys, my name is Gina James Gull and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I kind of forgot what I was playing there. And <laughs> we are in Flottering, our two star hospital. It's been a long time here, but we are definitely going to finish it today and we're going to move on to the next hospital. Let me just check actually these career goals. I think that I have completed. So, yes, look at this. Unblo We've unblocked 100 toilets in our hospital career. Excellent. We've restocked 100 vending machines. Uh, we've trained 20 staff, wonderful, and that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with flottering. We will be very quick in here before we are starting a new hospital, I think, because I did play in between time, and let me just show you what I've done. I have built up this hospital huge. You can see we're still having a problem with GPs. I am gobsmacked by how many GPs we have needed. So what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven? No, one over here. We've got eight, nine. We've got nine GPs, and there is still problems. As you can see, let's let's take this emergency. Yeah, whatever. Um, why is it saying we can't train him? Oh, 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 because none of our rooms are available. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have built, I think in between, I've completely built this part. It looks very nice, right? Okay. And, and then I have, built this as well. I don't think there's anything in this part in the last in the last episode. I've completely kind of I've moved things around a bit, just tried to make it a bit nicer and yeah, try to get the, the GP's rooms were in here and I've got rid of them. I also didn't realise that you can do this neat little reception area thing. This was a new thing on me. Oops, dead sunflower. So yeah, I did that. Um, you can see I've done all of the things here. I've trained 10 staff, I've promoted 10 staff, I've got the hospital to level 12. The only thing I need to do is staff morale up to 75%. It's currently at 68%. And honestly, do you know what I'm going to do for that? Is I'm going to go into my staff. How do I do this? And I'm going to give them... Satisfy pay requests. Yeah, there's some pay requests there. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a, give a few of them a little bit of a pay rise, and that'll just boost them morale. I think maybe. I wish I could do this a different way. If anybody knows a different way of doing this, let me know. But I'm just gonna give a couple of them a three percent pay rise. Oh, he can have a four percent. Slide it up a little bit. This should maybe. I'm thinking that it should increase overall staff morale although some of them are only getting one percent some of them may not be happy about that whatsoever just bump it up oh yep no he didn't get a pay rise he <laughs> slid back down a little bit see let's should we see if that's enough let's do i have to tick it oh i have to tick okay i want to see as i'm doing it i want to be seeing if morale is going up i'm not wasting all this money if morale is not going up oh okay did this not work wait Give him a pay rise. I thought that this would just be an easy thing. I just come on, give everyone a pay rise, and the staff morale would just go through the roof. Although it's it's going down. 67. Happiness. Let's okay, these people aren't happy. Let's let's boost their happiness. Let's give them. Is this does it it's not confirm? Did that confirm their pay rise? Let me see. So what are they on now? 14. 14332. Yeah, it is. Look, he's getting a whopping pay rise. He should be getting much happier. What's the matter with him? How do we increase like their individual happiness feeling? I don't know. Should I, should I just fire people that aren't happy? Maybe I could. Should we see if that makes a difference? <laughs> Let's. Right, he's really miserable. Or she, I don't know. Let's fire them. They've been employed for one year and four months. In that time, they've completed 69 jobs and have been paid 17,000. Hmm, okay, well I had a pretty, I'd become pretty dependent on the money you were paying me. <laughs> Will I receive, continue to receive the money once I've been fired? Maybe you won't. Let's, let's fire the, the people that are miserable. Let's order them, we can order them in, term, in order of. Whoa, are they, why are so many of them unhappy? Let's just, right, you can have a pay rise. I don't, I feel like pay rises aren't doing them much good in terms of the happiness. Maybe it takes time to take effect. I honestly thought I was just going to come on, give them all a whack and pay rise, and morale would just be like, yep, yeah, sorted, done. 
but that's not what's happening. So to increase staff, make sure staff don't get too tired. Ensure you can satisfy their needs, give them a nice working environment and give them pay rises, promotions and training. Ah. I'm having some issues. I've just been <laughs> trying to work on it and the tree and the staff morale is just gradually falling down and down and down. I don't think the whole just look at the queues everywhere. I don't think the whole bump up their pay rise, uh, bump up their pay is working. What I think is a lot of their problems is that they want more training. So I've just, I'm throwing them in training. I've just seen that what you can do actually is, so I'm, I'm organizing them by happiness and then like taking a look at them. And it tells you what's the matter with them. It tells you their mood. So it's like, so thirst, her thirst at 50%, hunger's at, I don't know what to do about that. Like I can't force her to go and get a drink, can I? All I can do is send them on a break. It's like top complaints, tired, thirsty, and hungry. Top positive. So it feels like attractive environment. So most of them are happy with the environment. Uh, let's find someone else who's not happy. Is that the same? Wants training, needs the toilet. CSE yeah, see, wants training is a, is a big thing. I'm just sending some of them on breaks and stuff and putting as many as I can. Grumpy and hungry. Like, the thing is, it's like, why don't you go and get food then? I don't... If I send them on breaks, maybe they go to the staff room and maybe they'll go and get something to eat. Is my thinking. But you can see now, that's, that's fell again, down to 59. When this training has done, I will just... I'll put more people in training. How long's left on this? Does it say? I think... There's not long left on this anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep putting people in training and train them up and hopefully that will increase... Maintenance announcement. Uh, oh, no, I've gone back up to 60. Okay, I can't do this. I'm, so I'm making, taking drastic measures and I'm just going down everyone. Scrolling along this until their face goes green. And like giving them crazy, crazy pay rises. But hopefully it will just... I don't know, I just can't do it. I've just <laughs> I've spent ages and ages trying to and it's just not working. So let's just go along and see. Get everyone up to green. Like, let me just see, is that making sixty-five? Oh no, now he's like crazy and happy, right? Don't worry. That's the problem. People might start getting a bit annoyed. Look, everyone can just have a crazy pay rise. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But I just don't know what else to do. I've changed, I did find where you could sort out the uh, break policy. And so they now go on a break when they're like 25% knackered or something. So hopefully that helps them because lots of them are quite tired. It seemed like they didn't have much energy. So. Who are the people? Let's go to the people that are not happy. They're the ones dragging this down. Let's give them a big pay rise. We're, I think we're increasing, are we? 68%? I've got it up to 70. 70 was the highest I could get it up to. And then it just drops. So I've, I've been doing loads of training, but look, what? 70 now? Okay. I mean, it shouldn't it shouldn't matter too much about our money because hopefully we just get it up and then we've we've completed the level. This is not a hospital that could probably sustain itself <laughs> with this level of pay, but whatever. That's not what this is about. We're not moving on to the next hospital. Oh look, yeah, seventy-two. We are getting there. Yeah, I was giving them like four percent pay rise. <laughs> they went. They didn't want four percent. They wanted like thirty percent pay rise. Staff morale, oh yeah, look, staff morale 74, this is going to work. Oh, 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 maybe a couple more. And then we'll be done, staff morale still 74. <gasps> yes, finally, why I didn't do that in the first place, I don't know. But there we go, we are done, dear hospital administrator, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Yada, yada, yada. We have unlocked Dehumifier, level three, and Heart Racer, level three. We've got £3,000 cash bonus and 200 
kudosh let's open map let's go on to the next husband i feel like i've been stuck in fluttering forever i am so pleased to get out of this place we have actually got two hospitals unlocked we've got this one tumble and this one mitten university i don't actually know which one unlocked first to be honest should we go to, let's have a look treat all manner of breaks and bruises in this sub 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 al pla, sub hang on <laughs> treat all manner of breaks and bruises in this sub sub alpine playground oh are we up in the snow the county's home for hiking fishing and falling down it doesn't really, it doesn't really give us any information does it to be honest Oh, home to some of the brightest minds in the... I think this one was maybe the next one that we unlocked, actually. It may be chilly, but it's also the perfect start for us to start... Hang on. Perfect place for us to start developing some new technology. Research. Okay, let's do that one, because that one sounds interesting, right? Mitten University. We can start research here. As far as I'm aware. Let's start it. We probably won't be able to do much in this episode, because that took us such a long time to finish fluttering, but we should be able to do something. So Mitten University, the Vice Chancellor of Mitten University has been impressed with our progress and we've been invited to establish Mitten University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. We can set up a research department and develop some new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here. Oh my goodness. So we'll need to train them up. Mitten University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train and each research project we complete. Firstly, though, we'll need a research license. The ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. This sounds interesting. Let's just pause this straight off. This part of the country is quite cold. We'll need to put down some radiators. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a look. Temperature. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot we'll need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they're warm enough but also not too warm if people are too cold or too hot they can be unhappy and eventually leave in cold locations place radiators <gasps> right so let's zoom out how do we know whether it's going to be a hot place or a cold place oh it looks nice though hey look at this so we just have to see whether they're so, okay fair enough so what we need to do, we need to get a research license, get hospital to level three and upgrade a machine. So I'm going to, let's have a little look. So what have we got? Lots of, there's lots of additional, well, actually, I was going to say are these already there. No, they're not. Plot. I have to buy these. So initially we've only got this little, this little hospital here, which isn't very big at all. So let's do a reception area as soon as they walk in i think that this hospital is gonna need like four people oh should we unlock these nice flowers let's unlock these nice flowers that can sit up yeah that looks nice there we go i've somehow got a sunflower i'm not sure how that happened but okay we'll we'll have a sun <laughs> we'll have a sunflower we'll just pop it right about there okay reception needs an assistant let's hire an assistant There we go, and is that in the middle? Yeah. Nice reception area for now. Right, let's let's get started. So we've got our reception area. Let's class click play so people start coming in. And we'll go with, of course, first room. Always a GP's office. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Um let's go, I think we'll probably go up here. In the last hospital, like in Flottering, all the... It didn't kind of work to have... Well, I, I'm, I was gobsmacked, to be honest, how many... Uh, how many GP's offices we did end up needing in the end. Am I still on pause? No, I'm playing. Uh, yeah, we, we had... How many did we have in the end? Was it like nine or something? It was ridiculous. And so I'm imagining that we're going to have... Need to have like at least that many in here, which just seems crazy to me, but whatever make this nice and then we'll just uh we'll just maybe we won't put another one in right away because we, we won't need it straight away that's the problem i feel like you have to you have to it's such a each hospital is so different like in the beginning and as you progress and you need to add diff obviously but like you need to 
add different things or whatever, like how it... And then like your reception area at the start is all right to be like this tiny little reception area, but then as it progresses, as the game progresses, you need to make a bigger reception area or whatever. I don't know. Security alert. Like, let's Please be alert. do some posters in here. We need a GP's office. Oh, I know, I know. We need a doctor as well. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll do. Someone's coming. Oh, look, our first patient. Let's hire a doctor. There's no doctors to hire. Oh, no, that means we've not got any. So, oh, so no one's good. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, let's place her in. Our first doctor. We'll just kind of sit whatever they need. At the start, I think that's how you need to do it. Like, whatever they're asking for, that's what you place in. And don't... Maybe, like... I think I worry too much about like, how it looks. I want it to look nice. But at the start, like, it just doesn't matter. Diagnosis, decision. Um... Get patient to wait. Get patient to wait and we'll just pause and... Should we add a general diagnosis? I feel like that's probably the best, next best diagnosis thing to add in. So we'll just pop this here. Yeah, because this, this is not where I envisage my general diagnosis to kind of be. Or like small... Let's, I don't know. It, it, it's, you just have to adapt as you go along, I suppose. That's, that's what I'm saying. And initially just get the rooms in. So you can like start and like earn some money. And you can, of course, it's easy just to move the rooms around. Like, like that's what I did in Flottering. I just moved everything around afterwards. It was no problem. Uh, let's go... Clown poster. Why not? And should we put a plant in? Let's put a yucca plant in. We should have a look, actually. Do we need... We needed radiators, didn't we? Actually, we need a nurse first of all. Let's just hire a nurse and then we can have a little look. Oh, everyone's so rubbish. Melissa Hulk. We should get her. She ties easily, easily, but she's funny. And she's got a strong left back. It is nurse in a diagnosis, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. We've got no benches, but that's okay because everyone's just like straight into the rooms at the moment. So let's just take a little look. Um, information. Temperature. Yeah, look, here we go. So does that mean... I haven't even how I haven't got radiators. Do we have to unlock them? Let's let's take a little look down the items. Oh, we do have okay, we have radiators now. So Oh yeah, look, okay. So let's place the radiator in GP's office, otherwise they'll be freezing. And one in this. Yeah, there we go. And this, you'll just have to be cold because there's no walls near you. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What have we got here? Pharmacy required. So let's get patient to wait. Pause it. And let's build, build a pharmacy. So I'm not going to build it there because that I'm definitely just going to have a, a, you know, I'm going to build it here. <laughs> I'm going to put a new GP's office there pretty soon probably. So there's a pharmacy. Yeah, having to be able to radiate is a new thing. Just gonna have to make sure that I'm making everyone warm enough. Otherwise, that's something else we're gonna bitch and complain about, isn't it? And storm out. Quite a lot of people stormed out of flooding. Not happy. They were hungry, they were thirsty, they were all sorts of things. Um maybe a sunflower. There we go. We should probably hire a janitor as well, actually. Oh, we should put a radiator in, though. Oh, we'll get a janitor, as soon as we're here. He's motivated and loves stationery. Perfect. Let's get a... Oh, missed it. Radiator in... Right, let's just put some benches down so people can sit. Oh, do you know, it's so nice. Like, I was in fluttering for so long, it being all being all so chaotic and everyone moaning at me and... It's nice starting a new hospital. Everyone was just being sick and wheeling all over the floor and saying they were hungry and thirsty and whatever. This is nice. What? Oh, I've still got that. I was wondering why it looked so weird. <laughs> I've still got the temperature thing on. That's good. Nurse 
that you can put that on. Health. Oh, that's a good thing. I didn't know you could do that. Like, put a... She's freezing. <laughs> let's... Uh... Okay, we should... Sorry, let's... Uh... I wasn't, wasn't going to bother with you, was I? Can we put a radiator just, like, anywhere? Just in the middle of the floor? Oh, we can. There you go. Does that make you feel better? That's good. Oh, what's this? Stop. Patient yes. happiness. Oh, I do, I do know. I've been play How long have I been playing this? And I didn't realise that you could do this. This would have been good last time to look at the health. See, I was about to die. But they're stupid, the patients. Like, they're about to die and they go and get a drink. It's like, no, go to your appointment. Hygiene. Oh, these are good. Boredom. What's this? Boredom. She's bored. What's she waiting for? Oh, we need another nurse, I think. Is she busy? Where is the nurse? Oh, she, yeah, she's seen people. Mm, I mean, surely I don't need another nurse already. I'm just a, just a little bit conscious of money at the start, to be honest. But if we need another nurse, I suppose we need another nurse. I can't. Let's get on. Oh, now it's just, just, of course. She became free just as that happened. I just saw people, doctors that had, I just saw doctors that had skills or some, oh, it was assistants. Okay, whatever. Hmm, okay. We almost, we need to upgrade a machine. Let's upgrade a machine then, whilst there's hardly anyone in here. I don't think we can do it. It requires a janitor who's okay. Um, let's get patient to wait. We are gonna be building more diagnostics, don't worry. Let's see if we can get a janitor with Is that upgrade facility maintenance? Was it just the main was it maintenance or was it upgrade that we needed? Hang on, hang on, let's check. I think it was just maintenance, was it? Oh, we need to be trained in mechanics. Is that a different thing than maintenance? Um, I don't know. Let's just keep it playing and see if somebody else comes up. I don't know whether maintenance and mechanics, I think maybe it's a different thing. Hang on, let's pause it because we've got that guy that's waiting for more. What's this? Mechanics. This guy's good. Let's hire him. I might sack the other. <laughs> of the janitor because we don't need to. You ready for training? Well, you might be ready for training, but boop, gone. Sorry. Let's build. We need more diagnosis. Cardiology? That's diagnosis. Everything is won by a nurse. I, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm, do you know, I'm just going to put it here. I know I keep saying that my GP's office is going to go there, but for now, I'm just... It's hard for me to think of just doing what I need to do now after I have been in flotting for so long and knowing that I'm going to have to move things around. But let's just think about, think about now, think about the space we've got and that we're going to have to put things in that we will eventually move, but that's just how it is. Okay, G not GPs. What's this? General diagnosis. We need a radiator. I haven't seen a radiator in... Is it in the rooms? Oh, it is in the rooms. Just didn't scroll down enough. No point in having it on the outer wall. Surely I should put it on the that wall there. Let's stick a couple of posters up, maybe. Clown poster. There we go. Perfect. Let's play that. See if he's going to go. I think two nurses should be enough, surely, for three rooms. We're not crazy busy or anything. Oh, we've done hospital level three, so let's let's upgrade. Let's upgrade that machine. How long is that going to take? It doesn't say how long it's going to take. Okay, whatever. We'll just we'll just wait for it to upgrade, and then we'll see. Actually, do you know what? No, we will have a look what the research license is in the next episode. We have made a start on our university hospital. It's looking nice. I'm so glad. Oh, sorry mate. <laughs> we fired him. I'm so glad to be out of flattering, to be honest. 
it feels so nice to be here in this new hospital but thank you so much for watching this let's just check oh we've got a circus incident we can't deal with a circus incident maybe we can maybe we can hang on possibly we can we can build a circus thing but right thank you so much for watching i'm gonna end it here join me in the next episode where we will be getting our research license we'll maybe be doing that clown thing down there give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you very soon for another video thanks for watching bye